Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Right Boy Stream here. Here we are on the 14th of May, 2024. And yeah, first of all, this is going to be a mod review of the new Lizard NTG South America by Exac and Agri Mods. However, there has been issues with downloading it, both on, for me, on PS4 Pro, with DJ Goham on the PC and PS5. I've gone and tried downloading it on my PC, and couldn't download it, so... Yeah, it's, been, it's rare, but it has been happening on and off every so often we have a mod that is not able to be downloaded, so... Unfortunately, that's not going to be a mod review on that. But what we'll be reviewing is the update to the voice span vehicle system by Dogface and BDB SSB and the medium sized warehouse. But first of all, let's start off with looking at the new update to Oshi Lutz 22, or however you pronounce it. Now, starting off with our updates, we got one map update Change Up 1.2.0.2 to Oshika 22. A new game save is not acquired, the following additions has been added. Added Rai, Tritical, Clover and Alfalfa. Clover and Alfalfa bells for animals. Pay attention, all bells from the old save will be missing. New added custom vehicles and machines, improved soil map added. Added more placeable decorations. BGA is now mural system ready, which is a PC only mod. You get corn straw. AI helper features have been added. Added more decorative trees, pine trees, added better weed textures, better lime textures, and other wind turbines has been added. Along with that, various of bug fixes and apparently is form production pack the controversial DLC is ready. And it says, yep, yeah, info when standard AI helpers used on the roads and traffic should be turned off. In multiplayer, farm decorative fences and hedges can be sold via Krish Ostrom Farm. Have fun on Oshka and the successful harvest. So yeah, first of all, looking at the medium-sized warehouse by Pascal Kutz. 10.85 megabytes to download. Change log 1.0.0.4. Added hole under the loading dock. So that is these here. Make it a bit more easier to load and unload stuff. Especially if you want to load into here from a forklift or a like a GCB tank hand or something like that. But yeah, you'll find this under buildings and sheds. Go towards the end. 21 slots goes down to 1. And this is a far better warehouse than you get in the farm production pack. So yeah, these are the one warehouses I will use to store my items. To store everything as you can see on the bottom right. Including all the premium and platinum expansion stuff and many more. But yeah, small updates, little cosmetic thing. I thought worth mentioning this in case you're looking for a warehouse. But anyways, this is the medium sized warehouse by Pascal Kutz. Next, on to the wide span vehicle system or WSVS by Dogface and BDSSB. Change log 1.1. Added folding whilst attached to on tractor. Added a hitch to the trader. Added a laser pointer on the trader and added outrigger support on the trailer. So, just a reminder for slot counts, it is 19 for the tractor, and I forgot which order it was, but it was 10 slots for the hooklift trailer, and 11 slots for the, uh, all, not auger, the tanker now, that. that goes on to this, so, but yeah, so let's look at the trailer first of all, so got your hook lift on the back. And yeah, so I can see even with the lights on or off. So once you're attached, you can see there's two dotted red lights here, so come out of here. Got red lights, red lights here, so use this to line up. So yeah, let's get this lined up. I think something like that. And if I get my help menu open, so L1 and X to extend the arm. Okay, I was a bit off, so... Actually, if I fold that, so... The laser should align to... Yeah. We need to get the laser aligned to the hooks here, so... Just 
Mr. Fords. There we go. Oh yeah, you can do it from this distance here. It's not going to be an issue, I don't think. There we go. So yeah, just attach. Ah yeah, I love the outrigger support now, especially let's say if this is loaded, because uh, after doing the mod review on this, I did have an issue where when I was trying to attach it like this, and it was filled with grain in that, especially with a header in that, it had a tendency to tip in that. But now, so toggle to the trailer itself. Then L1 next to retract the arm. And that is going to fold up as beautiful. Cracking modest is. Yes, it's a bit expensive, but it's next gen technology, so. But yeah, so what's the other update? Allow folding whilst attached to tr tractor, so. I'm not too sure what that is, and I really haven't tested it, but I've got the header and the harvester, or the hopper Nat. Yeah, this is a tractor. Yeah, well, technically, this is the tractor, and that is the harvester, so... Well, well that's the harvester, so... With the harvester and a header attached... So, let's press L1 and X to change the direction, so we're going from transport mode... Now we're going to harvesting mode. See, it's going to go like so. See, it's a slight little clipping issue there, but yeah, it's a little weird clipping. I should know it's perfectly fine now. Hmm, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, let's go and detach everything. There we go. See, so yeah, that's fine now. But yeah, so simply just allows the ability to fold whilst attached to the tractor, so that's the harvester in that, so... Harvester is able to fold and unfold, I'm guessing. But I'm pretty sure you could have done that previously, right? Or was I mistaken? Anywho, yeah, just do a little quick demo. Now, there usually be these on updates, but again, showcasing the mod off here, so... There we go, we're harvesting our crop. Like so. And it is looking good, 6 miles an hour. But yeah, you get the gist of it in that. Awesome mod in that, highly recommended. But yeah, that is all of the mod updates for today. There is a new map of Deadwood by Poor Boy and Bruce Gaming, but I'll look at that in a bit. But yeah, this is the white span view system by Dogface BDB SSB. And yeah, mentioned the uh, map that I'm going to do that now as I'm uploading this. But yeah, the tr lorry in that truck now, whatever you want to call it. Fortunately, at the end of the day, can't do jack crap about it. So hopefully, it gets fixed in that because yeah, every so often you have a mod like this pop up on the mod hub, where for whatever reason you can't download it. First of all, if it was a meat issue, I tried closing the game, loading on the map, or everything in that, apart from uninstalling the game itself, which I'm not going to do. But yeah, broken mod download, hope it gets fixed soon. If so, I will do a review on this as and when, or if it gets fixed. So yeah, apart from that, that is the two mod updates and a new mod map update for today. As always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.